Hello and welcome, this is our open Soul channel here, welcome again, new episode on out. Don't forget to follow me on uh, Google+, Twitter and Facebook. Although uh, soon enough it's going to be a lot of changes, uh, I might even change the way the actual uh, channel is going to be ran. But I haven't, you know, decided yet. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to install Mumble on your Raspberry Pi. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, download the uh, window version of the client. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now, once I open the actual folder with the actual file, I'm going to copy to my desktop. Here we go. Right, I'm going to open uh, this file now. Uh, this is a file with all the information you need to install Mumble on your Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to add it to the description below with the link where you can actually download it. I'm going now um, to log in with the SSH using Putty. Uh, you can actually follow me on how to get started one of the videos already done. And I'm going to log in with the uh, standard, you know, a default uh, login password, Pi and Raspberry as the password. Now the first thing I'm going to do is sudo and I'm going to uh, config the Raspberry Pi with the sudo config. And the first thing I'm going to do is expand the entire memory and then I'm going to change the, the allocated memory for the video to 16 megabytes. And then once I finished, uh, I'm going to already go and I'm going to uh, pump it up a little bit the, the speed of the processor and I'm going to restart the Raspberry Pi. Now we're going to log in again to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, let's see if it's already started up. It should take too long to uh, start, so let's see. Otherwise, we need to restart. There we go. It started anyway. Otherwise, we have to have to do just shut it off the program, put it, and restart it again. But it just went through. Now here I'm going to show you where you can actually find those steps that I just done. As I mentioned earlier on, you can find the video on how to get started with the Raspberry Pi, including the, the first boot for the Raspberry Pi. In this, in this case is the Raspberry Pi 2, okay? Now I'm going to minimize this and I'm starting the actual installation of the Mumble server. I'm going to copy and paste and as you can see here now this is a sudo apt-get install the Mumble, uh, Mumble server and I'm going to press enter. Actually I think I just made a mistake. What I'm going to do I'm going to update first. Don't forget sudo apt-get update to update your uh, Raspberry Pi before you do any kind of installation otherwise you get errors so that's what I'm going to do now, and then I'm going to start the installation with, of course, sudo apt get install mumble dash server. Here we go, now we start the installation and I'm going to paste it. And there we go, I'm going to press enter. I'm going to press yes, as Y in this case. And I'm going to wait until the installation is done.
There we go, it's nearly finished. And now I'm going to copy paste the second line. Well, I'm going to reconfigure the Mumble server. Type in sudo dpkg uh, dash reconfigure space, I think, is uh, Mumble server. Now I'm going to set up. Make sure, first of all, you press yes and yes if you want the actual server to start every time the actual Pi is being uh, turned on. Then I'm going to uh, set up the password for the super user. Now the login is super user and I'm going to add the password. For this demonstration I'm also going to write the password just for me to remember. Of course make sure that the password is not the same. This is not the password. The password you set it yourself and make sure it's quite strong. Now the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to see, I'm going to copy this line um, because I want to know the actual IP. This is very important. You want to know the IP of your Raspberry Pi unless you already know it. But if you don't, that's what you type. A nice IP space RDDR and then space show. Now I'm using Ethernet and as you can see here, and this is my IP 192.168.192. Now let me delete this. And I'm going to copy it here just to make sure I remember. And I'm gonna say it just for myself. I'm going to make sure again I leave you this text in the description. Alright, now next step is to edit the mumble server dot ini I'm going to copy this line here and I'm going to paste it on the terminal and I'm going to press enter now what you want to do uh, you want to start and find those options so as you can see here and the first one we're going to search for is the welcome text and you can actually change it to whatever you know anything you really want now I'm only going to make small changes here. Now this is the actual default port. You can leave it as it is, or of course you can change it. I have already put there just in case you need to know, I'll put it on the actual text file. Now we're going to search for the uh, set password. Again, you can set the password for uh, logging in. At the moment, it's nothing there. I'm going to create one. And I'm going to uh, write any password you want. Make sure it's not any password. Make sure you've got a strong password. And again, this is the actual server password. All right, I'm going to save this now. And uh, for the last one, I'm going to change um, the actual register name. And I'm going to add comment. It was a mistake that I wrote register server, but it's actually register name. Mm, you can find it. Uh, maybe it's a little bit to the top. Let's have a look here. can see it. I'm sure it's somewhere, somewhere. Maybe it's a little bit higher. Let me have a look. There we go. Yes, I found that. Here we go. Is here. Uh, 
and I'm going to uh, comment the line. I'm going to change that. And I'm going to change a little bit the name. I'm going to put all OSC as open source channel. And again, once I am happy, I'm going to save it. Press yes, uh, sorry, control W, Y, and then I'm going to restart the Mumble server. There we go. Job done. And we're going to move for the next in the next step. And I'm going to start to install the client I have downloaded in the beginning of the tutorial. Right, I'm going to start installation. I'm going to be quiet for a while and I'm going to resume as soon the installation has been completed. Right, the installation has been completed. Uh, I know it says some errors there, but it's not. Uh, I tried already about three or four times. Install it, uninstall it, but still the same. But uh, it looks it works there anyway. So perhaps it's not 100% you know, compatible with my Windows 10. But anyway, I'm starting now the configuration of the microphone, and it's going to ask me for the each you know for the key. If you know if I press it in this case I'm going to choose a uh, shift on the left side and I'm going next next and I'll make sure that I'm happy with the configuration and that's it really those are all the server there we go there now I'm going to connect to my server as a super user and I'm going to add the server here. Now, if you remember, we got the all the you know all the information we need. We got the login, the password, and the IP. And we also we know the actual port. Make sure the actual port, as is, as you can see here, is the default port. But if you change the in the configuration, make sure you put the new port here. So it's super user. The label I put all CSC for uh, open source channel, super user, and the password, and the IP, of course. Now it should be on the top, as you can see here. I'll click on that, and I'm going to click on connect. Of course, you won't be able to, you know, to hear it, but uh, it's like a you know, woman's voice. I turned that volume down. Uh, perhaps in the post production, I've tried to put it up. Now I'm going to accept the certificate for the first time and I'm going to add the password. This is the actual password that I put in the beginning. And that is the super user password. There we go, that's the first one up here. And I'm going to paste it and I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, uh, I have logged in to my server. Now we're going to create a new channel from the main one. There we go, just uh, right click and I'm going to click on add and I'm going to add the name of the channel. I'm going to call it, call it channel one and I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, it's there. And I'm going to put under the other one. There we go. Here you can find all the configuration for the channel and here you can actually add all the rest of the you know people who uh, logs in your server
And there we go, uh, we are at the end of the tutorial. Uh, don't forget you can follow me again on uh, the main channel, Facebook, Twitter and uh, Google+. Plus. Don't forget to like, share my videos. The more you share, the more I can do videos. And here is a small selection and a subscribe button to make it easy for you to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.